Hi, my name is Dr. Darren Schmidt at the Nutritional Healing Center of Ann Arbor. And this video is about um, talking about food versus talking about chemistry. So this is historical. And like 100 years ago, everybody talked about food. And what happened is big food companies, food manufacturers, tried to change the uh, conversation away from food and more towards chemistry. And they did that to um, distract us from what really is healthy versus what they want, uh, what they wanted us to, to buy. So um, as a, like a blatant example, um, there's calcium in Twinkies. And uh, we're taught that calcium is you know, beneficial for our health. And there's a calcium in ice cream. There's calcium in junk food. And so somebody who sells bad food could say, look, there's calcium in it. And um, I remember as a kid watching uh, a news program, and the guy on the show said, we eat ice cream for the calcium, so why don't we eat ice cream for breakfast? And this is a true story I'm not, not making up, but what they're doing is they're talking about chemistry and then um, causing confusion, then therefore we end up eating bad food. So this was started decades ago by um, big food manufacturers and they started changing our conversations away from food to chemistry. All right, I'm gonna give you another example. When I was in college, we're talking in the 90s, I was, in, I was taking you know, college level organic chemistry, inorganic chemistry, and doing you know, chemistry labs and I, I knew my stuff. And there was a shampoo that came out at the time, I forgot the name of the brand, but their marketing was that the shampoo had T, sorry, I'm going to change my marker, T25, T25. This is not any sort of chemical um, compound. Um, there's no um, mineral or metal or element that ju is just T. And to put a 2 here followed by up like a tall 5, it doesn't make sense. But they did that for marketing. And when you hear this um, television commercial saying, hey, this shampoo is new and improved, or it's special, it's got T25 in it, that's just utter BS. And then you think, oh, that sounds like it's something special, never heard of it, must be those really smart scientists in those labs wearing those white coats, they must know what they're talking about. So I'm going to give you another um, example. <clears throat> this is a, uh, a chart of oils. And this is actually from 2002. I keep this stuff because it's historical um, deception. That's what I like to call it. And um, you can still find this online. This comes from the USDA. This paper itself came, comes from a nutrition newsletter. So here's the red. This is um, saturated fat. And then the blue, and these are all different oils on this side. The blue is monounsaturated and... Um, Yellow is polyunsaturated, green is polyunsaturated, and then within these oils there's palmitic acid, uh, linoleic acid, and um, to be honest, it's all insignificant. It means nothing when it comes to a healthy human body. Um, what matters is this, can you go out in the woods and get it? Can you go into the ocean and catch it and eat it? That's the only thing that matters. So this article, here's some commentary up here and down here. The article is saying canola oil is healthy based on the composition of the chemicals or of the um, different kinds of fats. That is completely not true. So what matters is that canola oil is not something you go out in the woods and stab it with a spear and eat the fat. And you can't, you know, you, canola oil basically comes from a plant called the rapeseed oil. It's rapeseed oil. There's no plant called canola. Canola means Canadian oil. And what it is, it's this um, oil com coming from a, well, I forgot the name of the, of the plant, but they squish the oil out of it and they send it through this whole long process in a factory. And it comes out this yellow oil, just like peanut oil, just like safflower oil, just like corn oil, just like mazola oil. These are all highly, highly processed oils, whereas butter is not, tallow is not, bacon grease is not, 
these are all in olive oil is not these are all um easily read, readily available in nature and therefore they're healthy for us now there's um plenty of research on uh currently we're talking only last five years ten years there's research showing that um there are such such a there's such a thing as a healthy trans fat and um, the healthy trans fats are called ruminant fats, meaning they come from cows. And this is healthy. And we're, we're all trained that trans fats are, are all bad. Well, the bad trans fats are called industrial, meaning they're made in a factory. So to say that all trans fats are bad is false. Only the man-made trans fats are bad. The naturally occurring or ruminant trans fats are healthy. And then one last example is saturated fat, my favorite subject. Um, there, are, there are natural saturated fats, those are healthy. And there are unnatural saturated fats that are man-made, and those are unhealthy. So saturated fat is saturated fat when you look at it in chemistry. But when you add toxins to it from an industrial process, hydrogenating it, and which is a chemical process in a factory, then you turn it into a, you know, um, a candy bar that is unhealthy. But if you have saturated fat coming from a chicken, uh, an egg, um, a beef, pork, that is healthy saturated fat. Of course, you want it to be as clean as possible, organically raised, grass-fed is better than uh, commercially uh, raised um, or from like a centralized um, feeding operation. So um, we got to talk about food and stop talking about chemistry. This is what matters. Can you go out in the woods and stab it? Can you, pl can you collect it from uh, a forest? Can you catch it out of an ocean, uh, out of an ocean or a river? Uh, that's the way to go. So keep talking about food. Avoid, don't get confused about um, chemistry.